Jesus Christ came walking out into the sunshine, a walking, talking, breathing ex-dead man, alive and well. And on that first Easter morning, God shouted, Death is not my final answer. He is not here. He is risen. And Eugene Peterson, in part of the Easter story, writes these words, What a God we have, and how fortunate we are to have Him, this Father of our Master, Jesus. Because Jesus was raised from the dead, we've been given a brand new life, and have everything to live for, including a future in heaven. And the future starts now. God is keeping careful watch over us and the future. The day is coming when you'll have it all, life healed and whole. Let us pray. Eternal God, loving Father, we thank you for sending your Son to earth as a baby so many years ago. Thank you that he paid the punishment for our sin by dying on the cross. And we thank you that he arose again to prove that death was truly defeated. He arose in victory, joy, and freedom from the hands of evil men, never to have to go through that again. And you did it all to spare us the same. Now we can say with the Apostle Paul, O death, where is your sting? O grave, where is your victory? How wonderful, how marvelous is your love, Jesus, to think that you were willing to go through that for us. New birth, living hope, eternal inheritance are your gifts to us. But God, we confess we are not often, or we are often not the Easter people that we should be, living in the certain knowledge of your great mercy and love, distracted by the world around us. We fail to hear your voice or hide when faith is challenged as we wander off the path. Forgive us, we pray. Restore the love that we first had, a faith that can endure. Help us to keep our eyes fixed on you, Lord. We place our trust in you, our risen Savior and Lord. Well, good morning, boys and girls. Happy Easter. <laughs> Can I tell you something? You might not know this, but um, for the last little while, I've been kind of sick. At the beginning of this year, I went to the doctor, and the doctor said, hmm, yep, you're sick, and in fact, you might be very sick. And so, for the last several weeks, um, I've been going to doctors and having little operations, and they've been doing tests. And, and then on Monday, Reverend Bob and I went into Toronto to the hospital to see the doctor, and the doctor came into the room, and she said, Good morning. I have some good news for you. You're not as sick as we thought you were. And we were pretty excited about that. And when we got in the car, I got my cell phone out, and I called my mom, and I said, Hey, Mom, good news. I'm not sick. And then I texted my sisters and said, Good news. I'm not sick. And I texted my boss and some friends at work and practically everybody in my cell phone to say, Hey, good news. Let's celebrate this. Because I was pretty excited. I love to celebrate good news, especially when it's about me. But I love to celebrate other people's good news, too. If somebody says, I bought a new house, I'm like, that's great news. Or my report card this year was better than last year's. That's great news. Or I'm getting along so much better with my mom now. That's great news. Let's celebrate. I love good news. And I think that's kind of why I like Easter so much, because today we're celebrating good news. So here's the good news. God made me. God loves me. God loves me so much. He wants to spend forever with me. God sent his son Jesus to live on the earth and to die. Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus lives now and forever. And because I believe, 
I get to spend forever with Jesus. I think that's good news worth celebrating. There is no sadness there, just good news worth celebrating. Except, here's one little tiny piece of sadness. You know what happens? Kids grow up and they become adults. And as adults, we sometimes forget how to really celebrate good news. When we hear good news, we say, oh, that's such good news. Praise the Lord. We forget to celebrate like a kid. And so, I want to ask you this morning, who knows how to really celebrate good news? Who knows how to really celebrate? Somebody's pointing at you. Do you know how to celebrate good news? Could you show me? Come on up here. No? He's being shy. Ian's being shy. Who knew? Do you know how to celebrate really good news? Do you want to show me? No. <laughs> Who wants a Saxon? Do you know how to celebrate really good news? You want to do it right there? Okay, show me. Okay, show me. Oh, that's pathetic. I bet the choir knows how to celebrate good news better than you guys. What do you think? Can you do that? Let's really celebrate the good news that Jesus is alive on the count of three. I don't care how you do it. You can raise your hands. You can clap. You can stand up. But this morning, we want Lindsay to know that at St. Andrews, we know how to celebrate the good news that Jesus Christ is alive. Ready? One, two, three. Hallelujah! Yeah, right on! Good news! Excellent. All right, let's talk to God. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the good news of your son, Jesus Christ, and that Jesus is alive, and that because we believe, we will see Jesus and spend forever with him. Heavenly Father, I thank you this morning for these boys and girls that are here. I ask that you pour out abundantly your rich, free Easter blessing on them and the homes they represent. Be with them now as they go to Sunday school. In Jesus' name, amen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen Do you believe Jesus is alive? Amen. Do you really? Amen. amen. Before I invite the ushers to come forward to receive our offering, let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are the source of all creation. You are the source of all goodness and love. We thank you for the victory of Christ who conquered death by rising again. Indeed, the tomb is empty and Christ is risen. Lord, the cross of Christ has become a symbol of life rather than death. It is a symbol of new life for those who receive Christ. Father, this new life cannot be bought, it cannot be earned, it cannot be bargained for. It can only be received. And so for this amazing grace, with thanksgiving in our hearts and praise on our lips, we bring before you our gifts of offering and tithe. Bless these gifts to be used to share with others this great news that Jesus Christ is risen. He has conquered sin and death. In his blessed name we pray. Amen. Praise God that we actually have a story to celebrate this morning. Because he's the one who sent his son, and he's the one who's alive today, coming not only to give us life eternal in heaven, but resurrection power right now where we live this morning. He is risen. He is risen indeed. He is risen. Receive this closing word of benediction. Now may the God of peace, 
who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do his will, working in that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever, the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, remain with you now and forever. Amen.